que les écrans de votre quotidien, la télé dans votre salon, votre téléphone portable ou les tablettes tactiles vont devenir souples et incassables. Vous connaissez déjà les montres souples, mais là on veut vous parler d'une nouvelle technologie, les OFED, Organic Field Effect Transistor, qui va permettre de transformer ces écrans très rigides en des écrans flexibles comme cette feuille de plastique. C'est pourquoi on est en Allemagne, à Heidelberg, pour découvrir cette innovation tout à fait surprenante. Allez, allons-y. On y va Près de 7 prix Nobel ont fréquenté cette université. Bon allez, rêvons à être le prochain, le huitième. Bon allez Michael, on arrête de rêver là. On va voir Michel Kettner qui va nous parler de l'électronique organique. Hi Organic means um, that we substitute the metal that, or the silicon that uh, used to transport all the current in the electronics by uh, plastics, uh, by polymers that now conduct um, the current. And that's why we call it organic electronics because polymers and molecules are uh, something that we also find in nature. So it will permit to have uh, flexible screens? Exactly. Everyone knows that when you drop a smartphone on the floor, uh, the glass breaks and it doesn't look that good. It won't happen with flexible displays. For example, we have um, this one for the phone. Yeah. It could that's be possible. Yeah, sure. For the newspaper too. Yeah. And this is uh, something you might know from Harry Potter, where the, in the newspaper there are um, movies, uh, the pictures are no still images, but movies. And this might uh, be some of the future applications. Actually, yes, that's it. Um, it's raining or the weather go well. <laughs> You have to, to show us something, right? Yes, um, when we head to Innovation Lab, I will show you a prototype of a flexible display. Really? Yep. Michel nous emmène sur la plateforme d'Innovation Lab, plateforme regroupant plusieurs entreprises, dont BSF. Leurs innovations chimiques sont partout dans les produits de construction ou de cosmétiques. C'est le leader mondial de l'industrie chimique. Here's uh, the prototype or flexible yes. display. You can actually bend it. Really? And it still switches. Okay. And you hold it like that. I guess you want to know how it works, right? Yes. I would say we take the prototype, uh -huh. um, go to the other lab, prototype. Okay, thank you. Hi, hello. I'm Michael, nice to hello. meet you. Hello, Then, now we are pressed, so electronics are made on silicon and this is silicon. not bendable. Our transistor in my phone are like this. Transistor this? in your phone is here. Yes. It's like it's silicon. Uh -huh. and it's strong. And it's strong and it's, you cannot bend it. You can bend it, okay. But here, this is made on plastic film uh -huh. and with polymer uh, semiconductors, so the organic part here, and then you can bend it. Yes. And here is the innovation, the backplane. There are millions of transistors which each control a one pixel. Transistors mm -hmm. are so small that you cannot really see them with your eye. And you can see all the transistors here on a microscope. So what do you see in the screen? They are OFET, so each one of these is giving a pixel. And here, this round is an OFET. It's an OFET. Okay. This will be the logic to switch this on and make the display working. But we need a computer to, to control change, uh, the picture. Yes. In principle here, yes. you can have a small chip here. Mm -hmm. The small chip would be traditional computer, but it will take space like this. And the rest will be flexible. We'll have this technology in how many time in our pocket? Uh, let's say five years optimistic, ten years for sure. Ten years? Sure? Yes. Et maintenant, on va voir comment procéder pour imprimer ces transistors sur du polymère. This is our pilot printer. So, this is where we simulate the production of these displays. In the future, we'll be able to print every transistor thanks to this machine. Yes. We, we can already do that. Still requires a lot of work to make the, all the transistors exactly similar. And can you show me a bottle of ink? Yes, of course. Here. Okay. okay. It's really colorful because all the organic materials, they are made from organic pigments. 
and you polymerize the pigments so they are all colorful. They are green, blue, yellow, red. Alors Marion, t'as compris comment fonctionnent les nouveaux transistors C'est des oeufs le O vient de cette bouteille. C'est de l'encre organique, c'est une molécule, et le fait vient de tout ce processus d'impression qui permet de relier les molécules entre elles. fait c'est le cerveau et tout ce qu'il y a autour peut changer. On peut avoir les écrans en noir et blanc, couleur et là ce qu'on va découvrir c'est l'électrochromique. Alors on pourrait croire qu'on est dans un monde de science-fiction mais c'est bel et bien de la chimie. Alors rencontrer Eric Chen qui va nous faire découvrir l'électrochromique. Nice to meet you. Eric, nice to meet you. Marion. Michael. Could you explain me what is the electrochromic? Ah yeah, sure. So electrochromics are materials that change from a colored state to a colorless state when you apply a voltage with something as simple as a household battery. And how does it work? It works by changing the electron and the geometry of the molecules to create a change in the color. Could you give me some examples of applications? There's uh, applications where you can put them on windows and when you apply a voltage, then you can make the windows tint or you can make it perfectly clear and transmissive. Okay, I think uh, we have to do an experiment. You're going to do an experiment. Okay, so what that I'm going to do? I'll show you. A mill to a mill. You made a film of your electrochromic material. There you go. That's good. That makes a good chemist. Okay. Yeah. See it switch colors. Oops. On a fabriqué une petite affiche et quand on le branche à une batterie, eh bien, vous voyez que ça change de couleur. J'ai pu voir en avant-première quand même les futurs écrans souples. J'ai découvert vraiment une nouvelle chimie. Je pensais pas qu'on puisse faire de l'électronique avec de la chimie. C'était une expérience enrichissante. Géniale. Trépidante. Merveilleuse. Innovante. Formatrice. Chimique. Très chimique. <rire> Jamais assez. Jamais assez, oui.